What happens when you build a budget system around a certain GPU, in this case the Radeon RX 470? What kind of performance numbers could you get from that? Let's find out on the back to school budget build bonanza. Boom. Sorry, I kind of went overboard on the alliteration. Now full disclosure, these parts that are being showcased might seem a bit hodgepodge and were thrown together without rhyme or reason, but basically there were two conditions that the parts had to meet. Number one, they had to be as wallet friendly as possible, and two, they had to be in stock at the time of filming, otherwise I wouldn't be able to build this for y'all to see. These two conditions applied for everything except the GPU, which MSI graciously lent to us. Oh, and all the pricing from here on out is gonna be in Canadian dollars. Let's start off with the case. We've got the Corsair Carbide Series Spec01 case. Not only does the Spec01 fit into the category of wallet friendly, it also has a lot of little creature comforts. It's got cable management holes, tool free drive sleds for both 3.5 and 2.5 inch drives, has a USB 3 port, comes with a red LED fan and four other spots to mount more fans for extra cooling and of course, it's got a side panel window for you to gaze lovingly at your computer part. MSRP in Canadian dollars is $79.98. Next, for the CPU, we picked out the AMD A4 6300 APU. Yes, we picked dual core performance for this particular budget build. That was $58.98. For the motherboard, we have the MSI A68HM-E33. That was $74.98. With RAM, we went with 8 gigs of G-Skill Sniper DDR3 RAM since 8 gigs is kind of the sweet spot in terms of price to performance. Plus, the sniper rifle heat sinks are pretty cool. I don't, I don't care what anyone says; they're they're actually pretty cool. That was fifty dollars and ninety nine cents. For the power supply, we have an EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified power supply. That was fifty five ninety eight. Finally, for a storage solution, we put in a two hundred forty gig Kingston V four hundred SSD because let's be real, a one hundred twenty eight gig SSD won't fit a whole lot of stuff. But with a two forty gig, there's a lot more breathing room. That was eighty nine ninety eight. So combining all of these parts with the RX 470, let's check out how well this build performs with some benchmarks. Up first, Unigen Valley. Score 1666, average FPS 39.8. Next up, Unigen Heaven. This budget build received a score of 1455 with an average FPS of 57.8. In 3D Mark Time Spy, it scored 2293. In 3D Mark Fire Strike, it scored 3905. And with Rise of the Tomb Raider, its overall score was 52.02 FPS. So there you have it, not too shabby for the mishmash of parts that we have here today. Now if you've been keeping track, all the parts minus the cost of the GPU is a total of $410.89. That seems a bit much for what we have, but I'm actually leaving out something very important, and that's sales pricing. If you take into account that NCIX almost always has a sale each week, and you deduct all the new sales prices from the previous total, the new total comes out to $360.93. And that's actually before a $10 mail and rebate which sometimes most people tend to forget to do but anyways with $10 mail and rebate it now brings the price down to $350.93. So $350 for a PC with no GPU that isn't bad at all and keep in mind you can always substitute the parts you see here for the different parts you might find a bit more appealing to your tastes and to your budget. Now some of you are thinking I don't know anything about computers so I don't know where to start when picking parts. Well we've got you covered because you can always go to ncxpc.com. From here you can choose a PC for home, business, gaming or even special edition PCs. Plus if you're not happy with the pre-configured specs you can always customize every component. You can even add more fans and even LED strips to add that special touch. And of course all PCs built by NCIX come with a one year warranty. You can click here for more information about NCIX PC. But that about wraps it up for this video on building a budget PC around a certain video card, in this case the RX 470. And that's the type of performance you would expect. If you want links to all the parts used in today's build, you can check the description. Check out previous videos over here, hit us up on Twitter right over here somewhere. But as always, like the video, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later.